this is Andre with Inside EVs. I'm here at IAA Mobility 2021, the German motor show this year held in Munich. And behind me is the new Mercedes um, EQS 53 AMG 4 Matic Plus, which makes 761 horsepower, but it only makes it when you uh, select the boost mode and uh, you need to uh, pay for an additional option in order to have that ability. But if you do uh, go for that, uh, you will uh, get a zero to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 mile per hour time of 3.4 seconds. But since this is such a powerful model, it, even though it, re it retains the 107.8 uh, kilowatt hour battery pack, its uh, WLTP range is a bit lower. So this is the power output without the boost mode and without the extra optional power that you can specify. This leads me to believe that Mercedes has a 63 model in store, I think at least, in order to compete with the most uh, potent electric sedans on the market. Boy, this looks good with the fake Pan Americana grille and the uh, aggressive AMG bumper. But it somehow feels it doesn't feel like a full amg car it feels like um well like other mercedes uh, other uh, models in the mercedes range that are um, badged a 53. it sits on ginormous wheels let's see they are 22s if you want to count the spokes be my guess i wonder if it's uh, if it's really a center locking wheel or if it's just a cover. It also has the blacked out sills, but they don't appear to be any sportier than the regular car sills. I don't know. Moving to the rear. It has this uh, ducktail spoiler, which differentiates it. The badging, obviously, the 53 EQS thing here as well as the AMG badging here, fake vents here, a diffuser whose real uh, benefit is questionable because it's super small and it doesn't really extend un underneath the car. Yeah. Oh, and in case you didn't know, this is actually a hatchback. It's not a sedan. So the EQE, the smaller car, is a sedan, but the larger EQS is a liftback. I'm gonna climb into the back now where I am spoiled for room. I could live back here probably with uh, a family of raccoons. So what's different about the AMG yes. version? Uh, well, it's just the, um, the steering wheel and I'm assuming some menus. Maybe you can access the boost function here so you have a, an AMG menu what we get it still says engine even though it's a motor and you need to um, turn the vehicle on to access it so yeah the seats are different in the AMG the steering wheel is different and I think oh as you can see it has the AMG logo from a Falterbach uh, embossed in the headrest but yeah that's pretty much it it's not as extreme as some people were expecting it to be which is why I believe that there's a uh, 63 model in store which I'm expecting will have a widened stance and maybe blistered arches, like a true AMG model should. So yeah, even this one will be super quick, but there's room for even quicker.